Hi there, this is Neil Pradeep here from AndroidAdvisors.com. So let's check out how you can install the latest Gingerbread 2.3.2 version on your Samsung Galaxy S i9000. So this is a phone, Samsung Galaxy S i9000 in my hand. So as you can see that, firstly we'll be switching off the device so that we can easily put our device in the download mode. So there you go, I've just switched off the phone. You need to wait for 5 to 10 seconds till your phone gets vibrated so that it will tell that the phone has been successfully switched off. Switched off your phone and the phone has been vibrated successfully. You need to connect the USB cable but before that you need to enter your phone into the download mode. So for entering the, your phone into download mode you need to press the volume, lower volume button key then the menu key and then while holding the piece both you need to switch on the power button so you will see an icon like that connect the USB cable with the phone after connecting the USB cable from the computer you need to now open the Odin that is Odin 3 version 1.0 preferably as you will be checking out that now from here you need to select the pet as you can see here carefully there is pet option pda phone and csc now but before that you need to check out that the idcom is displaying a yellow color block this tells you that all all the required drivers has been successfully installed on your samsung galaxy s now you need to select the PIT file which is 512 and not anything else apart from that. Like you need, I mean you should not select 802 or something like that because that will ruin your phone exactly or may even break your phone. So after selecting the 512 click on open. So you can see here it has been loaded here. Now next up you need to select the PDF file from these three list of files. Here you need to select like from PDA you need to select the code file code file and then click on open next up select the phone in phone you need to select in phone you need to select the modem one that is here this one click on open now next csc csc file you need to select the one which is containing the name csc that's it click on open that's it so after selecting csc phone pda and then pit and ensuring that the yellow block is over here make sure that there's no option being selected apart from all these like repartition auto reboot f reset time etc because that will ruin your phone very badly so after doing this you just need to select on start button now next up after selecting all the options which are mentioned here you need to click on start but before that you need to ensure that each and every file is correctly placed otherwise you may your phone may get bricked okay the code one you need to enter that in pda and then next the phone one that is modem one you need to insert in this and next up in csc you need to enter the csc file and that's it so let's get started over here as you can see here analyzing the files so all the files will be loading in the due course of time same time this will be shown factory YFS and then several other parameters are actually loaded in this since the firmware is new one and also a bit huge it will take some time while setting up as you can see that the progress of the loading is being shown here here it's just about the IDCOM tab so just wait till it gets loaded in the meanwhile the best part of the Samsung Galaxy SI9000 is 
you get a lot of custom firmwares and we at androidvices.com ensure that every single firmware is successfully updated on your phone very safely so that any of the phones doesn't get bricked up so as you can see that the firmware is being loaded in the due time and also you need to follow the procedure very carefully before flashing it and also make sure many people do complain most of the times that the firmware is loading it it's db data ifs yeah coming back to the point yeah i'm just holding my point actually there's some loading process going on so we'll elaborate on that db data fs so it's going on and meanwhile if you look at the phone as you can see that the phone has been gone and as you can see the reset bar has been there the next up as you can see the db data dot rfs has been removed the next up if you look at the phone and the subsequent changes have been doing in the process you need to ensure that the kis is closed in your pc others can seriously damage your phone so ensure that so next up you can see that files are getting loaded so successfully updated multi csc files and that's rooting the phone there you go the phone is getting started I'm just holding my breath and the phone gets successfully flashed so there you go my phone has been successfully rebooted so let's check it out whether that has been gingerbread has been successfully installed or not yes it will be surely installed there's no second thought on that but then too let's check it out let the phone get started so just waiting for the phone to start it will take some it will take some time as it's a first reboot since the firmware has just been updated and this is the first reboot after the software update it would take some time so let's check it out and then again ensure that you haven't removed uh, the usb cable you should not remove the usb cable so there you go this is the first reset which is asking me to me and that's it the use packet data in the next stop set up wifi this all the settings you can set it later as well so that's it finish kind of so let's see or dust now so there you go so media scanner is running now you can what you can do is you can pull this usb out as the main motive has been done right so let's check it out there you go this is an all new gingerbread which you're watching it on the samsung galaxy s i9000 so as you can see the subsequent changes have been done on this media scanning is still running on so battery bar has been changed the network bar has been changed that's it so let's check out it's truly speaking it's very zipier than the stock xxjpy or any other stock if you compare it with so check with the settings about phone as you can see here it's it's on latest 2.3.2 version and the kernel version which you are looking at that will be there and the baseband version is double x jvb basically double x stands for eu firmware which are quite stable as well as quite zipier than the ones which are there for indian phones that's it there you go so 